with a lot of things. I have imposter syndrome. Hey friends, welcome to this week's weekly vlog. Today is actually Wednesday. Um, today is, hey Google, what's the date? It's Wednesday, September 7th, 2022. That's the date. I just got home from the gym not too long ago. I took a quick shower and I did a face mask because I felt like I needed a quick little mask. I'll leave it on for like 10, 15 minutes. But I'm also going to make myself some coffee. I haven't had coffee yet and I feel like I need coffee. I didn't have pre-workout today. I had BCAAs, which I feel like they do have a little bit of like a, a kick. They give you a little kick, but it's not like a pre-workout where you're going to be like super energetic and like it has a lot of caffeine. So yeah, I'm going to make myself some coffee. I wanted to film a favorites video because I have a few favorites that I wanted to share with you guys for um, from August and I guess like the first week of september so i was thinking if i should film like a quick tiktok makeup tutorial or if i should just not film it i don't know i think i'll do a tiktok with me doing my makeup follow me on tiktok you guys i'm trying to be active i'm trying to be really good about it so follow me on there and follow me on pinterest because i am also active on pinterest Oh, I do have coconut water. Yay, I can make a smoothie. Okay, so I've got my creamer, well, my oat milk blend, and then I got some whipped cream. I don't know if I want to be fancy today. So I've been trying to decide if I wanted to get one of those like little coffee draw pull out things to store the Nespresso pods because I've seen people use them and they look really cute. You guys know what I'm talking about? I'm be I've been thinking about getting one of those little nin uh, Nespresso pod holders for under the coffee machine. I don't know though. coffee i did a little reel hopefully it came out good but yes i am using a pumpkin cup <laughs> so um i also added some of this pumpkin pie spice to it to give it some extra flavor but yeah oh my god this tastes so good you guys just this a little bit of this a little bit of the whipped cream um, a little bit of this on top this is from target delicious I'm going to use these to try to take off the mask. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's just... This is literally a sponge. Like, I could do dishes with this. summer friday's hydration serum all right so i've decided that i need to take my hair out today at this point it's becoming annoying i just don't like the way it looks anymore it's looking like real raggedy so <laughs> even the ends are getting like super like you know matted so i definitely need to get rid of this so i'm gonna have soup for lunch i'm just gonna grab the i'm gonna do the, i'm gonna do the chicken noodle soup so I'm going to have this for lunch and I don't think I have any. Yum. 
four minutes. My favorite, it's so good. I'm gonna put this in the bowl because I feel like this is not super steady. Okay. So I just put it in this bowl so I could take it to the living room. And then I'll just watch some YouTube videos while I eat this. I started taking my hair out, you guys. I just started cutting it out I'm using a scissor. It's time. Good morning and good morning. Today is Thursday. I feel like I didn't really vlog much yesterday. It was just not, I don't know, like I just was not feeling it, I guess, is what it is. I ended up taking my hair out last night. I think I showed, I did try to vlog a little bit. Today's a new day. Um, my dad took Clay to his bus and I'm going to drop Callie off at her school in about like 15 10 15 minutes so and then i'm gonna go to the gym after so i'm already dressed for the gym i made my pre-workout and well my bcaa's actually i didn't do pre-workout i don't know i cannot find my bottle of pre-workout i don't know what i do with my pre-workout i can't find it so i made bcaa's um this is just basically for recovery um so yeah i'm excited this is my third day in a row working out, so that's great. Y'all, I'm in the parking lot and I am struggling to get out of this car. I don't want to go. <laughs> I hit you up like, do you wanna hang right now? Mm. On the east side, and you know I'm with the gang right now. You say, do I wanna watch? I know what time it is right now. It's after 3 a.m., I know that's asking a lot of you right now. All you ever say is, come and see me for once. Come and see me. You don't ever come to me, yeah. All you ever say is, come and see me for once. Come and see me. You don't ever come and be here. All you ever say is. So I'm back home. I made myself an iced coffee. This is a like pumpkin spice type of coffee. Got this cup off Etsy a few years back. Basically, I'm trying to take my hair out. I'm back from the gym. Oh my goodness, I actually met a supporter at the gym. I was so awkward. I feel like I don't know if it's just in my head. I feel like I'm always super awkward when I meet people. Thank you for saying hi. It's always really nice to meet you guys. I know I've met people at Target. Like it's just so crazy to me because I'm like, wait. 
like people actually watch my videos. <laughs> I'm gonna detangle my hair before I go shampoo it. So what I've been doing is putting this stuff in. So I use this on some parts. It seems to be helping. I just want to loosen up the buildup because whenever, if I don't do that, it's going to get super crazy in the shower. It's been like 30 minutes, I think. I was on the phone with Johnny for a while. He's on his lunch breaks. Yeah, I don't know where I left off. Anyways, I'm just trying to take my hair out still. It's been taking, taking so long, but it's better doing it this way because I don't get as much breakage. Although I have so much hair coming out. It's so scary. But I guess it's just normal. I guess it's normal because like you lose like, what, 100 hairs a day, they say. I did this process in the shower and i almost had a heart attack but i remember being so like scared i was like what is going on right now because so much hair was coming out and just got done in the shower and also doing my hair so it's my new it's low bun o'clock <laughs> i'm just gonna pick out a quick outfit and we'll get dressed so we can start filming because i need to film I have this Caesar kit, so I'm basically going to do this. And then I also air fried some chicken that I had, just some grilled chicken. So we're going to do, we're just going to do a grilled chicken Caesar salad. Yeah. I'm going to use the rest tomorrow. I'm going to do half today and half tomorrow. This, this says it's three servings. I don't even understand how and where this could possibly be three servings, but okay. You know what? I have cheese in my fridge. I'm gonna use this other cheese tomorrow. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this all up. Save this for tomorrow. I just ate and I'm about to get ready to film. So I'm gonna do my makeup real quick. I figured I could do like a get ready with me. I'm going to answer a few questions. I was trying to answer these yesterday, but I just felt like I was not mentally ready. Like I was not in a good headspace. So, ooh, my phone's gonna die. Oh no. That was the day I screenshotted the, pit the questions. <laughs> Starting with my brows today because to my brows real quick so the first question says dating in 2022 uh please help me sis girl i haven't gone on like i haven't dated in like 11 years it's been a long time i i have no idea what or even where i would begin um i do know that dating sites are really popular now i don't know if that's like it with everybody or you know what the case is i think it's a very difficult time to date in general though because i wouldn't say i keep up necessarily with like dating news but i do hear a lot about you know things like you know standards and requirements and all those things that honestly didn't really exist to my knowledge at least didn't really exist um 
10 years ago. Also, <laughs> the last time I did it, I was literally a teenager. So it's very different for me, I guess. But uh, I think you're, you're um, at that age, your, your requirements are not necessarily, are not what they would be when you're in your late 20s or 30s or even older. It's just different requirements, I feel like. When it comes to like where to meet people, I think that I would probably go to places where I feel like that person would be the person I'm looking for. Like my face, what, why is it so crusty? I do see a lot of posts about like different things and like dating requirements and you know, what you, what people are expecting from people when dating. And I do think that you need to be open-minded, be realistic, and just like the important things are values and like morals. Those are things that I feel like we kind of have to be on the same page or at least a similar page, especially with morals and like that type of thing, that type of stuff. I need, we need to be on the same page because otherwise it's just going to cause problems. I do think that a lot of the things I see online and it could just be my timelines and my feed. I do feel like a lot of the things I see on the internet are very unrealistic in terms of like expectations for people. It's not like realistic at all. <laughs> like, I don't know. The internet creates this fake sense of reality sometimes when it comes to certain things and that and dating is definitely one of those things i i think it's it could be very fake and non-realistic and if you take the advice of people on the internet and try to meet a person on the internet telling you this right now it's kind of ironic but what i'm trying to say is that if you take what you see on the internet with a grain of salt when it comes to advice um, when it comes to like what you what people are supposed to bring to the table, all that stuff, take that with a grain of salt because oops, a lot of these people are not even in relationships, not in long term relationships, not in good relationship, not in um, not in healthy relationships, and they're out here steering you the wrong way. Okay, I forgot to, I gotta put your on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not a relationship expert. Be aware of what you're reading, what you're you know, taking in and consuming when it comes to that on the internet because then you need to have standards. You need to know what you you need as a woman. I don't even know if I answered the question, but yeah, statement says friendships in your 20s to 30s. And for me, that topic is very different again because I got married really young. I was basically a teen mom, got married at like 20, 21. When you're 30, right, like I am now, that's typically the age where you're settling down and you're having kids and you're getting married. And that's when people start to realize like, oh, I'm like kind of like drifting off from people. Things are more like um, not frequent. You don't hang out as much with your friends. You're not, um, there's, everyone's super busy. Everyone has their own schedule and it's not, you don't necessarily hang out as much unless you guys live close by and you have a similar schedule. That happened, that was me for the past 10 years basically like i had an early start on that because i had kids young and i got married young and when i got married my friend most of my friends were still in college pretty much all my friends were in college and it was not like we were hanging out now i have a baby so we can't really hang out the way we would i feel like i had that experience throughout my 20s but what i would say is that people have different schedules and people have different a lot a lot going on like everyone's life is busy um i do think it's important though if you really care about somebody and you really like vibe with someone i do think that you need to check up on them once in a while um whether that looks like i don't know five times a year once a month you know just say hey make sure you check up on them with social media i think it's even easy to keep up with somebody just send them a dm like you know it's really easy it's um, it's a really easy way to keep up with people. Also, I have a lot of friends that I lost when I got pregnant because, well, not when I got pregnant, when I had my son, because I was going through a lot, y'all. Like I had, I feel like I should make a full video on that. Like I went, I'm not even doing my makeup. Hold up. I'm not even doing my makeup. <laughs> I'm over here. Yappa, yappa, yappa. A lot of friendships ended for me at that time because Priorities were different and I also went through postpartum depression for a long 
time. Like I'm talking a long time and I think I've, after the initial um, infant stage, it's, it's basically just like depression, I guess. But it's basically just like depression, I guess. I don't know. But I went through it for years, I would say. Like I had my son and then two years later I had Callie. Two and a half years later. And I think I did recover after my son. But after Callie, it took a long, a very, very long time. So that time period in my life was crazy. But I'll, I think I'll do a separate video talking more in depth about, you know. Um, this one says, how did you know Johnny was the one? I don't know, girl. I just fell over. I don't know. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I want to use my Giorgio Armani. This foundation is one of the goats. Do you guys remember when this foundation was the it girl? <laughs> It was literally that girl for so long. I think it still is. You know, it's like a classic. Like the, it's definitely a classic. Skin is definitely given. <laughs> okay, skin is, points were made. The last time I used this, I had such horrible acne and my skin is so different now. Shout out to my skincare routine. The video is coming on that as well. I have been putting it off and I need to do it. I feel like some videos I just feel so like, self-conscious and very like anxious about and i keep putting them off like that video so i need to do it because i i do want to share a lot of pictures of my skin before so this camera that i'm using does have this like beauty filter on it but when i use my other camera that you guys see like makeup videos with there's no filter so um fyi um back to the question so johnny and i met when we were really young and i think back then we met when we were really young and honestly we just i guess we vibed really well we, we meshed Ooh, i picked the, the wrong shade i need to go to sephora and get the right shade for this concealer <sighs> my battery just died so we met when we were when blah, blah. we met when we were really young we had a lot of the same um values we were obviously attracted to each other but definitely had a lot of the same values and like morals and um just like a lot of the same things that matter almost like interest and that sort of thing i'm not saying like we were the same person we were on the same page with a lot of things that we thought were important and i think that definitely like was attractive to me and i guess to him we we're also both christian and that was really important to me because i'm not always the best christian okay but we trying, okay? <laughs> it's a journey, okay? I think with all those things combined, it just was like the perfect situation. She also says, do you ever get imposter syndrome being in this business? Girl, every day, all day, every day. <laughs> imposter syndrome is literally like, in. I have it with a lot of things, not just with this, with a lot of things. I have imposter syndrome. I don't know why, um, but I do with... Even in regular life, I never think I'm as good as I really am at things. And people will always tell me like, oh, you're so good at this and you're so good at that. And in my mind, I'm always never as good as they're telling me I am. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just like something I've dealt with forever as long as I've known myself. And um, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> it would be crazy to think that all these people align to me if everyone's telling me that I'm good at something or that, you know, I look a certain way. But in my mind, it's not as good as they're saying. I don't know, y'all. It's just crazy. But I've definitely dealt with it with everything. And that's something I need to work on for sure. Okay, next question says, next comment says weight loss motivation. Girl, I need some. <laughs> I'm constantly trying to motivate myself with weight loss uh, with weight loss constantly like i try every and anything that i can to motivate me most recently i created a basically like a vision board for the second half of the year and on that vision board i have weight loss i have things that are basically gentle reminders for myself like healthy foods and body goals type of stuff and just like healthy foods working out things that are going to make me remember and I made it into my screensaver on my phone and on my laptop so that whenever I look at those two things, which is literally every day, I'm going to be reminded to do it. I also try to watch videos um, and I try to like interact with content online that 
is like healthy content so that social media keeps promoting it to me. <laughs> Those are some ways that I try to stay motivated. I also try, try with capital T-R-Y. I try not to buy too many unhealthy things for my house because if it's in my house, I'm probably gonna eat it. The hardest part of weight loss for me has always been the diet part because I can work out, but the diet is where I have my issue because I love me some food, okay? <laughs> so I have to set up constant reminders. Also shopping at certain supermarkets, like going to Whole Foods really motivates me for some reason. Like I think they just have a vibe. There's just a, there's a vibe in Whole Foods. I don't know what it is, but there's a vibe. Like you go into Whole Foods and all of a sudden you feel like you're a healthy person and you only eat healthy food. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but that's how I feel when I go to Whole Foods. If you have a Whole Foods near you, just take a stroll in Whole Foods. And for some reason, you're gonna feel like you just wanna eat healthy food and you're like a super healthy person. Girl, it is 2.30, I need to leave my house in an hour. How am I gonna film? This question says, would you ever do a girl strip? And I definitely want to, It's I definitely want to. It's something that I've wanted to do in the more recent years. Honestly, like I never really thought of a girl strip before like maybe last year. I just, it was just never something I thought about. As of last year, I've been kind of wanting to have a girl strip. So I don't know, maybe there'll be one soon. I feel like out of respect for like my relationship and stuff like that, there are certain things that I wasn't as open to until like more recent years now that people are settling down and stuff like that. I just, certain things like... I just didn't want to partake in. I'm not saying all girl trips are centered around like going out and having a good time and you know, but that can very easily happen, especially if you're drinking and you're having a good old time. It's so easy to get caught up in situations that you would never have been caught up in. I don't know, I think it's important. Like we both are, Johnny and I are like similar. Like when it comes to that, we have like similar um, ideas and similar thoughts on it moral codes are aligned hopefully that makes sense but that's something that i definitely wanted to this one says would you ever do a meet and greet of course i would definitely do one i don't know if i would do one now because i you know want it to be perfect and i definitely like want to really sit down and plan something really nice but i it's, def it's definitely something that i would be wanting to do next question says what are your fall makeup staples for seasonal like i love lip colors i feel like lip colors really help change the vibe so so i love like a nice brown a deeper like berry color um a deeper mauvey berry vampy color those really like scream fall to me also like with eye makeup this year the trend is like that smoky eyeliner look and i really love that it's like grudge makeup i guess it's like grudge 90s makeup in general i think a smoky eye is for sure like a fall look okay okay i don't think i have time to answer any more questions i'm gonna finish my makeup and i'll talk to y'all later because i am behind behind schedule just got done filming my mouth is tired it's 3 30 i need to hurry up also time for me to go get cali from school well not real quick we're gonna go do that <laughs> let me turn off my camera i made a second cup of coffee to drink while i filmed and honestly i took like one sip and that was it i took one sip and i was done the weather when it's cold in the morning and hot in the afternoon it's officially that season because it's hot right now it's hot it was not that hot this morning it was that it was really nice in the morning but now it's freaking hot all right i'll talk to y'all later I got a dragon shoot dragon fruit refresher. And I got some coffee. <laughs> which some is coffee. also also a dragon fruit. <laughs> so we're just here to get some school stuff for Cali, but I'm looking at the home section. You know. So much cute stuff. This is really nice. I like this.
California kitchen pizza. Yummy.